Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Reviews, and this is my 562nd Energy Drink Review video. It's 4.39 p.m., and it's Friday, October 30th, 2015. Tomorrow's Halloween. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing a new flavor of an energy drink brand that I reviewed last year. Um, I first found out about this energy drink last Thursday. And I bought it, like I found it the day after that, so I bought it. I bought two cans for two seventy five. dollars so it's pretty cheap. So yeah, I bought it last Friday, so basically a week ago. And yeah, this one's going to be interesting. Today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Blueberry Quick Strike Energy Drink. Um, They had a, sort of a blue one before, but it was the Quick Strike Zero. Sort of like in a whitish can, um, but the letters like Quick Strike Zero were as, like in blue, I think, if I remember correctly. But when it tasted like Monster Ultra Blue and Ultra Zero combined, but this one's just a normal Quick Strike. It's not a Zero, and it's Blueberry. So this is going to be interesting because Blueberry, there's not really any energy drinks that are just like plain Blueberry. Because most, like, um, blueberry drinks is, like, blueberry pomegranate or blueberry pomegranate acai, or acai, sorry. Um, except for the Blue Edition Red Bull, which I really like. It's, like, blueberry muffins, and it's, like, really good. Um, it sucks that they got rid of the 8.4 fluid ounce cans, because I can get those. Well, I could get those, like, really cheap, but now they're only in 12 ounce cans, so they're more expensive. So that sucks. Um, but yeah, this is the second only blueberry drink I had. First one was the Blue Edition Red Bull. And the Blue Edition Red Bull, I like hold it high in my like favorites. It's like one of my favorites. So this one, hopefully it's good. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is messing up. It has a... Yeah, it has a silver top with a dark blue tab. It says blueberry flavored energy drink with other natural flavors. Quick strike. Energy drink with caffeine and B vitamins. 16 fluid ounces, 1 pint, 473 milliliters. Has the SKU. Please recycle. Um, this product is not recommended for pregnant or nursing women, children, and or others sensitive to caffeine. Do not mix with alcoholic beverages. Caffeine content is 151 milligrams per 16 fluid ounces. So it's 151 milligrams per can, basically. This can contains two servings, not exceed more than two servings. One can during a 24 hour period. Has the SKU and some codes. Um, distributed, I mean, not distributed. Um, manufactured by Cot Beverages Incorporated, Tampa, Florida. 33607. Um, phone number is 1888-260-3776. Um, Distributed by Murphy USA, El Dorado, I think it is Arkansas, 71730. Caffeine is 151 milligrams per 16 fluid ounces, 473 milliliters. So yeah, these are only at the Murphy gas stations, which are like at Walmart super centers and stuff. Has the other ingredients, contains 0% juice. Nutrition facts, serving size 8 fluid ounces, servings per container 2. Calories 120. Total fat 0 grams, 0%. Sodium 150 milligrams. Um, 6%, total carbohydrates, 30 grams, 10%, sugars, 30 grams, protein, 0 grams, nice and 90%, vitamin B6, 240%, vitamin B12, 80%, pantothenic acid, 45%, so yeah, my voice sounds a little bit different, so I'm sorry, I don't know if my lighting will work good.
Yeah. One thing that sucks, since it's like getting closer to winter, it gets darker earlier. My tablet has a hard time seeing when it's dark. Like little text and stuff. Thunderbolt. Oh yeah, there's a QR code and it says two servings. And it shows a guy on a motorcycle. And it shows like a mountain and stuff. And another thunderbolt. Sorry for my dog barking. No, my lighting is went all red. I don't know if it's going to change. I'm going to have to pause it right quick. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I had to move, like, by my window and it fixed it. it took a while, but it finally did. Okay. That's basically the whole can. Looks pretty cool. My lighting is weird though. Then I'm gonna shake it up, open it, taste it, and get my review for it. So hold on a minute. Okay, I opened it. Oh wow. Yeah, it smells really a lot like blueberries. It smells a lot like um the blueberry patch um Yo Play yogurt. It smells a lot like that. It smells a teeny bit like the blue dish and Red Bull. This smells, um, yeah, more like blueberry yogurt, actually. Yeah, not blueberry muffins. And, um, this is made by Cot Beverages. They make the Red Rain energy drinks. So this can, well, this energy drink or whatever, the color is the same as a purple Red Rain energy drink. I can get that lighting to work good. I might get a shadow. I can see it a little bit, but yeah, it's purple. Anyway, I'm not gonna try it. So it has a really powerful blueberry taste. It's sweet. But um, it's syrupy. 
Um, you can definitely tell this made by, like, um, the people who make the Red Rains, because Red Rains are, like, cheap energy drinks, so they're, like, syrupy, and, yeah, it tastes like that. This does not taste like the Blue Edition Red Bull, though, so that sucks, because I like the Blue Edition Red Bull. Um, this is what, um, Blueberry Jolly Ranchers would taste like. Very syrupy candy flavor. It's artificial, that's for sure. Well, it says natural flavors, actually. But tastes artificial, though, so that's weird. Main way I like it. It has a cool can design. It's cheap. It's $2.00. I mean, it's two for two dollars and seventy-five cents, so it's pretty cheap. And I'm sorry for my dogs barking. And I need to get a lighting kit or something because my lighting sucks. I need to get a camera instead of filming with my tablet. But you know what I mean. Yeah, it's a cool can design. It's cheap. It tastes good, but um, I think the Blue Edition Red Bull's way better than this. Um, this is like really syrupy, syrupy. And it tastes artificial, even though it says it has natural flavors, so that's weird. Um, but it's still really sweet blueberry taste, but um, it's not my favorite. Energy-wise, it lasts about four and a half hours to five and a half hours, so it works pretty good. So I like it, but yeah, I give the Blueberry Quick Strike Energy Drink. Mm, I give an 8 out of 10, it's good, but could have been better. Um, but it's cheap though, and it has a cool can design, so definitely try this if you can find it. It's a yeah, I'm sorry about that. Um, my tablet ran out of space. But, um, I give this an 8 out of 10. Definitely try it if you can find it. And I wish I had better lighting so I could show off the can better, because it looks really cool. And my lighting doesn't do it justice. So that sucks. So I need better lighting and a new camera. So I might start saving up. Um, but I have, like, I still have to pay off my car loan, though. So, you know, whatever. But yeah, I like this. Definitely try it. It's not the best blueberry energy drink, but it's still pretty good, so I give it an 8 out of 10. Um, there's some stuff I need to talk about. Um, apparently the permanent Monster Ultra Black, um, started showing up at Speedways this week. Um, well, some of them. So it's going to start showing up everywhere pretty soon. And also, today, um, someone else, um, like, he took a picture of it, like TPX did. Um, they also got the new permanent, um, Pipeline Punch Juice Monster in today. So I might have luck finding that soon, too. Because if I find the permanent, um, Pipeline Punch Juice Monster... I might review it, but I still have to go to Oklahoma City to get the limited edition one and the new Rockstar Pure Zero Watermelon. So I need to get both those soon. Um, also, um, my next review, I'm not for sure what it's going to be yet, but um, I found some new Redline Energy Pills. So I'm definitely going to be getting those. I think I've seen two new V8 Energy Drinks. Um, but I wasn't for sure, though, but I think they're the new V8 Energy Drinks. So I first found out about them, like, a couple of weeks ago, and someone took a picture of them with this Energy Drink. That's how I first found out about this one. So I think I saw those V8 Energy Drinks. I'm not for sure, though. If I did, I'm gonna get them and review them. And I still need to find the Raspberry Monster Rehab. So hopefully I'll find that soon, too. So yeah, so stay tuned for more reviews, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. My next review, I'll probably film it um, next Thursday, because I get paid next Wednesday. So less than a week now. So just stay tuned for more reviews. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. Sorry for messing up talking. My voice is like, I guess it's getting a little bit deeper. And I'm, my voice starting to, like, um, get weird. 
you know what I mean. So, peace out, and bye.